Well, Kenny, seven days ago we said to you about incomings and outgoings and you said probably not, but never know what might happen. Either you're a very good poker player or things just happened instantly like Mark was coming here. Yeah, we're delighted that he's joined us. Obviously, you know, for him, um, it's a move back to a club that he knows very well, being here on loan as a young lad in 2013. You know, he comes now as a as a more mature, um, established centre forward, really. One that I do think we need. I think that can really help us, uh, not just his, obviously his goals and his goals record and his, his confidence that, that he has in the division, but also um, his overall play, his work rate, um, his commitment to the team. You know, they're, they're big things and things that attract me to him and, you know, delighted that um, he's, he's decided to join us. And, you know, we've obviously co coincided it with, with some outgoing deals. And, you know, I just... Thanks to Mark Catlin and Tony Brown for their hard work because it's been a, 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 a tough one over you know, m many weeks really trying to get this one done. I suppose we should pat the owners on the back as well. Oh, without a doubt. And, and you know, there's, you're, you're always working towards in every window trying to get as strong a squad as possible. Uh, unfortunately for us, you know, there, was, there was outgoings this summer. That's, that's the way it works. But similarly, it shouldn't stop the club progressing. And, and it's, it's how you actually use that money, what sort of squad you build, what players ultimately then you bring in uh, to, to sort of reinvigorate the side as we go into a new season. Would you say that Marquis, who's excited m most fans, um, would you say he's the missing bit of the jigsaw puzzle that you've been looking for? We'll see. I mean, it's, it's really now my job, my responsibility to, you know, bed these players in, make sure that, you know, we, we start strong on Saturday and uh, all the way through August because it's a key period. And, and you know, with a new group um, or the dynamics of a new group, making sure that they're effective, they know their roles, uh, they're part of the team. Uh, they do well for Portsmouth. I've got, you know, confidence in every single one of them. I've got confidence in John uh, being able to hit the ground running. You know, I really have. And you know, he's he's, he's done enough work in pre-season as well to, you know, be effective from us for, uh, for us right from the start. But as I said, you know, it's my job to make sure now that um, uh, the, the the new players give us the the fresh energy and enthusiasm that you need and, and um, integrate with the with with the players that are already here to make sure that you know we're a winning unit. Will you have to tinker with your squad to accommodate him at all? Your system, your system sorry. I, I don't think so. I think it's um, it gives me good variation with, with Marquis and Ellis Harrison to to play two up front if I need to. I mean, you don't know if I'm going to do that right from the start. We may, may need some work on that. But, you know, similarly for Ellis at the right time as well. You know, he, he, he has enough flexibility to play in, in, in a wide area. And, and, you know, we can be really strong there. So I don't think that um, we'll need necessarily to change the system but similarly how he fits how John Marquis fits in with Ellis, with Ellis Harrison is that you know there is the potential to play both of them um, in, in different systems as well and I wouldn't have brought him here if I didn't have that flexibility. Shrewsbury will be a tough test for you? It will you know they'll, they'll, they've, they've added well um, they've had a good pre-season they've built well I'm very impressed with what Sam Ricketts did last season and he'll be wanting to build on that this year and uh, you know I think they're one of the clubs that have you know, their eye on the top six and we'll be, you know, trying to get there. It'll be a difficult game, you know, we understand that. As I said, they've added well and, um, you know, going to Shrewsbury is never an easy game and for our first one, it's a tough one. But similarly, it's one we, we're looking forward to. We have to be ready. We have to play well ourselves and see if we can hit the gr ground running in terms of our performance to uh, give us confidence going on. Will it tell you a lot about your side? Yeah, it will. And, and, and I think that we'll be ready. I do think we'll be ready. We'll be looking forward to it. Um, we'll be going up there uh, tomorrow in a positive frame of mind. But similarly, you know, knowing that, um, you know, for them, uh, they'll be they'll be looking to do good things this year and, and capable of it as well. Now, one of the players that didn't feature at Woking is Louis Dennis. Where, where is he going to stand this season? Yeah, we'll see. I mean, it, there, there's clubs he's talking to at the moment. The ball's really in Louis' court. I'm, I'm, I'm happy for him to stay. But similarly, you know, he's floating on the edge of the side and... Uh, if, if he decides then that um, a move is the best thing for him, you know, we all understand that that's where it is. So currently anyway, you know, he's, he's considering his options, talking to one or, one or two people. We haven't seen a bit of Williams yet. Uh, how's his injury problems going? Yeah, he still has a, a thigh strain, unfortunately. Again, he won't play these early games, uh, but uh, hopefully it's not too long. Certainly won't be fit for Saturday or, or, or Tuesday, and uh, hopefully it won't be too long and he'll be he'll be back in. Right now, anyway, for Saturday, uh, you know, the lads that won't play, uh, um, obviously Williams, uh, Bryn Morris, 
and uh, Sean Raggett has a, a, um, a bruising in his elbow, which he which he did last week against Brighton. His ankle's been absolutely fine, but uh, none of those guys will be available for the weekend. Everybody else, though, is OK. I'm sure you'll be delighted with what you saw of Ollie Hawkins as well on Tuesday night. Yeah, scoring goals is a good thing. You know, he got two. And, and Pittman got two, you know, some competition around them uh, to bring out the best in them. You know, it's a long season and we've got a good squad, I think. And, and, and for Ollie, you know, he has to uh, uh, keep working hard to try to um, um, uh, make sure that, you know, he can build on what, you know, for, for the majority of the time was a, a successful season last year. Does the side you are now assembled, does that cause you an extra pressure? Do, do you feel that pressure now that people expect? I think people expect anyway, whether you've got a good team or not. And, you know, there, there's expectation, there's expectation at a club the size of Portsmouth. There is an all-professional football, and certainly in, in football management in my industry, there is a pressure there. I'd rather have that pressure with a good team than a bad team. And, uh, you know, at the moment I do think we've got competition, uh, we've got some freshness that we're all looking to see uh, how they hit the ground running and uh, how they integrate and work with the other, the other players. But similarly, um, they're, they're a capable group as well and an experienced group. And uh, for me personally, I'm looking forward to the start of the season and now working with these players. Even though you laid off Matt Clark and, and you know players like that, and possibly low, we well, don't know about the low situation yet. You, you've still got perhaps a better team. I don't know. We'll see. Um, we'll have to see how the season goes. It's a long season. It's not all just about you know who plays Saturday as well. We're, we're you know, trying to plan for nine or ten months. I mean, I've said before, um, you're looking at the last five games of our season uh, last year. So, so key. Two of them um, playoff games, and we played Sunderland three times in, in in that last five. And you're looking to be successful. That's where the bar is. You know, Sunderland Football Club's a, a massive club that we're competing with. So, you know, we need to be strong enough for the whole of that period if we can. And squad planning and assembly is is for that. All of my mind and my focus now is on is on Saturday anyway, and so it should be. But as I said, you know, squad planning is slightly different involves not just me but quite a number of people and um, uh, you know we've worked hard at it and, and now anyway it's my responsibility to get the best out of the team that um, that we have uh, I, I'm looking forward to it I do think it's a, an exciting season ahead and a big challenge in terms of uh, um, uh, Louis Dennis and, and then Jamal Lowe as we say you know for Louis I'm happy for him to stay but similarly you know if he sees a move away and, and thinks it's it's the best thing for him then you know I understand and won't stand in his way that's where it is Jamal I understand is um, is up at Wigan's training ground and you know my expectation is he, he, he will sign shortly that's how it looks mm. because the two clubs have agreed uh, agreed a fee it surprised a lot of people because many thought that the Marquis deal was dependent on Jamal going the other way? Yeah, they are, we are looking to coincide the two. There is no doubt about that. You know, with Marcus Harness coming in and then and then John Marquis coming in, you know, I won't lie and say it hasn't been with um, then ultimately, you know, Jamal getting, you know, what he wants, which is obviously a move away into pastures new. And, and although they haven't exactly been coincided, you know, that, that's where I do feel the people I work for have been very strong and, and very good in signing those players first and then putting us in a, in a stronger position when we do actually sell. That's, a, that's, um, that's the idea and the big thing uh, uh, for it. And as I said, um, you know, board of directors have worked very hard at that and, and you know, shown good strength.